Hey, what is up, guys? Next, Mr. Big here, or Broken FPS, whatever you prefer. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to fix Windows Update for Servers Pack 1 on Windows 7. Alright, um, this mainly occurs due to the files not being properly installed whenever it updates, um, so to speak. So, I'm going to go into the properties real quick to show you I'm on Servers Pack 1, Windows 7 Ultimate, um, some specs for my computer. But, yeah, that's basically it for that. I don't really need to get too much into that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close so you can see how to get into the updates. Okay, um, you're going to go into your control panel. Make sure it's set to large icons. It'll help you find it a lot easier. And it's usually at the bottom here. Go ahead and click Windows Update. And you'll see right here, I have updates um, already ready to be installed because I was able to fix it. Um, now what you're going to do is go to change settings and you're going to go to never check for updates and then hit OK. Once you do that, you're going to restart, restart your computer. Um, once it comes in to restarting, you're going to go to the link in the description, the first file to download. Okay, it's on the Microsoft website and I'll run you how to download that right now. I'm not actually going to do it, but I will go to the links and show you how to do it <laughs> if that makes any sense all right coming on to the first one this one's the april 2015 uh servicing stack update for windows 7 and windows server 2008 r2 what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down whatever version of your system is um if you don't know what your system is, you can go into your computer settings right here and go to properties and you can see that you're either 64-bit or 32-bit and you'll see x86 here if you're 32-bit and for 64-bit systems you'll just see 64. So that's pretty straightforward there and then you just download the package whatever one it is and then you install it normally. Okay. And then for the second file here, after you restart your computer, when you download the first one, when you download this one, after that installs and finishes, you're going to restart your computer once again. I'm trying to be really clear with my instructions here. I don't want to mess it up because if you install the wrong one first, it can mess things up. All right, so now that's for the first file you need to download. And once you're rebooted, you can come back on to the video or copy the links and paste them somewhere. And then this is the for the July 2016 update roll up for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1. Same thing, you're going to come down here, whatever version of your system is, install it how you would install any normal program. And then this time you will be prompted to restart even though um, you restarted from last time. You're going to want to restart again, okay, but before you restart, go into your control panel and then go back into windows update and go to your settings and make sure it is on never check for updates still you want it to still be on the never check for updates you don't want it to come back you don't want it to be on here yet then once you restart your computer from the second file or the second update um what you're going to do is come back on here and set it to install updates automatically once you have the second file downloaded, then you can hit OK, and then you can start the check for updates, and you will get what you need. Um, you'll get updates within a couple minutes. And if this helps you guys, and if you can follow it along, please leave a like. It shows support, and I'm going to be doing more videos like this. So, thank you very much, and I shall see you later. Peace.